I know, I know. I have been gone for a long ass motherfucking minute. Not even minute, for a whole ass motherfucking year. And I honestly don't know if I want to fully go into what has happened during my hiatus. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys appreciate this video. I hope that it's not boring. I hope that you're not like, wow, like she came back with this kind of video. I was intending for this video to be a what I eat in a day video i'm using a new camera finally i bought this camera like a year ago and i'm literally just using it now like this is my first time like what the fuck and also as you guys can see i moved into a new apartment i used to live in the bay area to keep you guys updated i am back in la this is my second time living in la and it's been really really great and <sighs> Yes, I broke up with my now ex-boyfriend. I don't want to get into that. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you're probably up to date with what's been going on. I ended up gaining a bunch of weight pretty much in the beginning of 2020's pandemic. I know like everyone was going through it and I hope that this year is a lot better for all of us. But yeah, so I started a whole fat loss, weight loss journey for myself. I literally busted my ass to get back in shape because I was like I didn't even notice how much weight I was gaining like I didn't even notice like my face became more round like not that this is a bad thing but it was the way that I was gaining the weight it wasn't just because I was maybe you know eating a little bit more and I'm, I'm on a like bulking phase or whatever it was because I was just fucking having a hard ass time I was going through it I was in bed like all the time I just had no passion no drive and I was just in a really really fucked up space like I'm just gonna say I was in a fucked up space like I was like a rock bottom below rock bottom I moved here to LA around I want to say like July-ish and so it's been a couple months and just this whole journey to like rise from where I was like hella months ago now like it's mind-blowing that the steps that I'm taking and the the grind that I'm on and the effort that I'm fucking putting into my day every fucking day it's just so crazy how and I say this all the time like it's so crazy how much you can turn your life around when you really fucking want to turn your life around when you have that fucking that drive to fucking change your life that fire inside of you to be like fuck the bullshit like this is not gonna be my life this is not gonna be the end so yeah your girl has been through it but I'm striving as fuck right now and hopefully I'm gonna be thriving I already feel like I'm taking these steps today I received so such a good fucking opportunity that blew my mind I was like what like how even like how does this person know of me like oh, I'm just so excited I don't want to make this video like a huge ass update because I also want to show you guys my upper body routine or a little bit of my workouts that I'm doing and also show you guys my post-workout meal that I'm gonna be making I'm so excited it's so fucking that shit's so fire. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, one, what the fuck are you doing? Two, you probably should. Three, you will not regret it because four, you know, you'll see my face more often than on YouTube. That's where the fucking party is at most of the time. Like I say, I'm pretty fucking active on my Instagram. And yeah, I finally ended up dropping my crop jackets. Everybody loves them. I'm so fucking stoked. Like I literally cried looking through my tags on my lift like jazz workout page like I was like oh my god like everybody loves it and everybody looks so fucking good in them and also my bad for not wearing makeup and not doing my hair so much today I woke up with the intention of doing my makeup and looking cute as fuck for this video because I was like dude like I gotta make a strong ass comeback and look hella cute but fuck it you know 
thank you if you are here in this video with me right now I just don't even know what to say but I missed you guys so much I appreciate you guys so much and I really want to thank you guys for all the positive comments that you guys leave for all of the love that you guys show me here on YouTube and on my Instagram like I see your comments this whole fucking year that I've been gone I've been hearting comments I've been seeing your comments saying like I miss you like come back to YouTube I hope she's okay let me know what you want to see I already have an idea of what kind of video I'm gonna be posting next time so stay tuned for that oh my god and I cut my motherfucking hair and also I got new piercings I just wanted to feel something and also like I thought it was cute and unique and different so I was like you know what let's go fucking get nose piercings It is another day. Hello, little outfit of the day. Top is hella old. I think it's Laura's Boutique and these are Gymshark. I love these, they're so cute. And it is so nice outside today in LA. It's so hot, it's like 90 degrees. Yeah, we'll see what we get into for the rest of this vlog. Like I said, it's not a full day of eating, but I think I'll show you guys what I'm making for dinner because I'm so excited. I've never done this before. So yeah, we'll see what we get into for the last part of this vlog so this is what I'm looking like why doesn't my camera focus oh my god there we go so here's my face I'm gonna be painting this face super super quick because it is kind of late already it is 254 so I gotta be quick and not take like two hours to get ready so hopefully I can do it in an hour and 30 minutes and yeah maybe i'll include the pictures that i take today in this vlog but um like i said if you don't follow me on instagram you're not gonna see these pictures so <laughs> me taking some pics I will include one right here also I don't know if this is gonna be in focus because my viewfinder does not flip up on my camera so we're gonna do this so quick I want to show you guys the groceries that I got I went to Whole Foods because I'm gonna be making some lasagna and maybe some oatmeal cookies today but not sure maybe tomorrow so i got the foil piano thingies because i couldn't find the glass one and hopefully my bangs aren't all fucked up because if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I recommended the brownie kind. I actually have extra. They're these. These are so good. I found these at Target first, and then I found these at Whole Foods, so give them a try. I haven't tried these yet, but I'm assuming they're going to be pretty good, but these ones are killer. If you ever are craving chocolate and you don't want to reach for the chocolate one, that's okay, but if you want to, I guess, maybe not reach for it, you can go ahead and pick these up. They're so good. I think they are 
are vegan. Yeah, they're plant-based. Got myself some tomato basil for the lasagna. And also, this is so good in pasta and the macros are so good. One serving is only 35 calories. Picked up some motherfucking coconut waters. This definitely tastes better than Vita Coco. No offense, Vita Coco. If you want to sponsor me, hit me up. I'm still here. And I wanted to pick these up because I think I'm going to make my oatmeal cookies in heart shapes just for fun. And got myself some non dairy chocolate chips. This is dark chocolate um, and it has oat milk in it. Had to pick up some salmon. I prefer getting the frozen salmon because whenever I get fresh salmon, it sometimes tends to go bad on me. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick these up, 365. You already know, picked up some avocados for the avo toast, for the rice, chicken, and veggies for the burritos, and some vegan cheese. And again, this is for lasagna or even for pizza. I've been making pizza throughout this week and it's fire. And of course, ground turkey for lasagna and also for pizza meals. Very last thing, I picked up ricotta cheese. I don't know if I've ever had ricotta cheese, but I don't think this is vegan, which is kind of scary. Yeah, it says made with milk from cows, and I'm a little scared, but I feel like it's gonna be good, and I'm hoping this doesn't make my tummy upset because I'm still dairy-free. I've never made lasagna on my own, so I'm excited to try this. It's super anabolic, it's super macro-friendly, and actually, I'm gonna give Mr. Coach Greg a shout out because I did get this recipe from him But I don't want to go into detail because it's from his cookbook that I purchased So I don't want to expose the recipe because you know, that's I feel like that's kind of not I just don't want to like leak all of his hard work, you know, cuz you do have to buy the cookbook Here it is guys, the finished product. We're about to fucking try it. I'm so excited. This is gonna taste so good, I hope. I'll let you know what I, what I think about it right after I take my first bite. If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you don't like this video, then fuck. My first bite of Coach Greg's lasagna. I'm gonna show you guys the big ass piece. I actually did already record it, so I'm gonna insert it right now. It's a big ass piece of lasagna. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna eat half of the whole batch. So, first taste test. I fucking smacks. Mm -hmm. Shout out Greg Doucette. I have BB Pro. You killed it with this one. Sick, huh? <laughs>